Well, there's a good chance you've heard of Urban Gardens. Now one is bringing a lot more than just food to the Pontiac community. 7 Action News reporter Anne-Marie LaFlame has the people behind it in this week's All Stars. Coleman and Bethany Yoakum graduated college in Arkansas and set out to help communities in need. That landed them in Pontiac where they live out their mission of love. Well, the neighborhood's getting better. Crime is going down. We're seeing uh, a lot of our friends that we've sort of loved through being homeless and getting into jobs and, uh, and being able to take care of themselves. This probably isn't your first thought when you envision Pontiac. So when we got to the neighborhood, we started looking around. We figured out that about 40% of our neighbors didn't have cars. Uh, or reliable transportation. And so uh, we started saying, where do you buy your groceries? Where do you eat? Where do you get your healthy food? And they said, well, we don't. Uh, and when we meal to meal, what we do is we shop at the liquor store and the gas station at the end of the street. Welcome to the Micah 6 Community Garden. Nestled near Huron and Telegraph here on Pontiac's west side, Coleman and Bethany Yoakum and their team have taken vacant lots and abandoned homes and created a source of fresh fruits and vegetables for their neighbors. You know, these guys have helped to turn Pontiac into just a, a, a beautiful and, and verdant garden. Um, and they've done that on some of our tax foreclosed lots. The garden supplies this Sprout Fresh Food Store, a market providing fruits and vegetables available year round. Our ministry is love and, and taking care of people with food and they take care of us by loving us back. Tanya Autry is just one Pontiac resident who has felt that love. She was homeless when she met the Yoakums. When I met them, I fell in love. And we started out here, we didn't have heat in this building, but we would come here, we would have our little services at church. Um, they would allow us to come over to their home to use their bathrooms, take showers, get meals. Coleman and Bethany saw a need in the summer months when the kids are out of school. Uh, we're a Meet Up and Eat Up site, uh, which is uh, a summer food program that meets uh, on the gar at the garden and then we do meals there and we play soccer with kids. Uh, last summer we did a bike drive where we fixed and gave away about 75 bikes. Tanya is now back on her feet, no longer homeless, a testament to the change the Micah 6 community is making. The overpowering word is love, love your neighbor. A vision changing the minds, hearts and bodies of people in the city of Pontiac. That just proves to me that there is a God, that people have pure hearts or caring about other people. It's almost an indescribable feeling that you care that much about me and you barely know me to feed me. That goes a long way. You'd be surprised what a meal would do for a person. If you'd like to get involved with the Micah 6 community and all of the incredible work they're doing in Pontiac, just head to our website, wxyz.com slash allstars. I'm Ann Marie LaFlame, 7 Action News. Life-sustaining neighbor helping neighbor. Anne-Marie, thanks.